A serious incident has taken place in Forbidden Valley um, regarding the Nemesis creature. Oh my, what has happened here? There's like loads of like rips in the construction wall. There's guards on the front of it. The final track pieces for, tr for the ride have actually arrived on site and the track itself probably by now is probably officially complete for Nemesis. The first Rebirth of Nemesis update that was re is released during the 2023-24 close season. Um, and obviously this one's going to be very different because since the Nemesis creature escaped, all Phalanx facilities have been put on lockdown. Only authorized, only like essential sort of personnel, like things like um, Phalanx bosses and obviously scientists, are allowed into the the undisclosed locations and any other facilities. So I'm not actually be able to physically film myself um, giving you this update, but I can obviously. I've gone to like this other undisclosed location. I will not reveal it to obviously record myself talking to you about what is going on with the, with Nemesis currently. Um, as it has been revealed, some new leaked CCTV footage which you just saw, um, which shows a, a much broader, like sort of more clear image of the Nemesis creature re reawakening and escaping as Alton Towers have actually now reveals and confirms that the ride will be called Nemesis Reborn and they revealed the brand new logo for it and it just looks fantastic it's going back to the original logo for the ride which people were clamoring for ever since the ride closed they were saying bring back the old logo um, which obviously as we all know is pretty much universally agreed the old logo looks so much better and so much more menacing than the one they've been using for the past sort of 20 years I mean, it's glad that they brought it back, but just with a slightly more modern twist to it, with loads of new details. Um, even like the part of the IS at the end is meant to look like the eye of the creature Nemesis, which is really cool. Plus, they've added the new reborn segment, which just adds to it. It looks so menacing, and it honestly looks really cool. Not to mention, we actually get to see what the creature looks like now. Now that all the experimentation has gone wrong and. And obviously it looks like it's just sort of completely changed since we last saw it back in 2022. Um, and it was, honestly it looks like just completely different as if it's sort of mutated um, to the point where it's become a lot, sort of, probably more dangerous and unsafe. I don't know, it looks more threatening now. Um, it looks up honestly so crazy. And now that it's reawakened we do have no idea what Balance is going to do about this, and they may try to contain the creature again, but we have absolutely no idea how that's going to go. Um, obviously, other stuff that's happened around the site, a brand new helicopter has landed on the actual site itself, just next, to the, just in front of the um, other bank's turn before the vertical loop, as well as a shipping container. It looks like it's like a creature's burst out of it, which is going to be next to the brand new extended queue line. Which they have, uh, they're basically rerouting the entire queue line for the attraction. Um, so it's going to be completely different. It's going to be located all on top of the hill, sort of overlooking the ride. Which is going to be, honestly, it's going to be really amazing when it reopens. Plus, there's been rumored some other new theming that could potentially go in, such as a second helicopter. I don't know where. And apparently, the Nemesis gun has actually been removed as well. The gun that, if you don't know what I'm on about, basically the gun, that, the big giant gun that says Nemesis on the side of it that you see when you're entering Forbidden Valley, that gun has actually apparently been removed. We don't know what they could replace it with, but um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, prior to this, there were actually rumours of Forbidden Valley going through a rename, 
Although in the recent press release that Alton Towers put out, that doesn't seem to be the case, they might still be sticking to Forbidden Valley. Which I think is a good move, because I don't see why they would need to rename it to anything else, and stick to the original Forbidden Valley name, which it was when Nemesis first opened back in 1994. So I'm glad they're doing that. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously, obviously everything's getting really intense and it's literally, even though the ride hasn't actually started testing yet, it should really not should be long until it starts testing. The track's been completed for quite a while now and hopefully by the end of the month we can see it testing and admit, we had, like I said, they also haven't revealed the official opening date yet. It's rumoured to be opening day this year but that could be delayed just because, I, like I said, the ride hasn't started testing yet. But it should not be long at all until testing does begin, and as soon as it does, I'll be right back here um, to tell you all about it. So I want to thank you all very much for watching this video. Um, and obviously, if you want to actually recap on what's going on with the whole Nemesis story, I've created a brand new playlist called Nemesis Reborn, the story so far, over on my YouTube channel. And um, that features the entire sort of Phalanx storyline that's been going on since Nemesis closed. And if you want to just sort of recap yourself on what's going on, with the whole story, I can go there and watch all the videos that are in that playlist. Um, and thank you all very much for watching this video. Goodbye.